I think all of my ideas are kind of like mistakes. Because you never wake up and say, today I'm going to write congratulations or, or any song. It's all about like right moment, right time. Yeah. Like I had like eight Bud Lights, right? And then it just happens. It's like, it is an accident. It is just like a spur of the moment type deal to where you're like, let me sing this melody over this beat or let me make this beat even and it just kind of happens i don't know in this quote we hear post malone the grammy nominated artist known for his genre blending sound providing the first of his five essential steps for learning how to write catchy music in a minute we'll hear posty delve even deeper into his best secrets for not only writing catchy music but the creative process in general but for right now let's pinpoint the first lesson from the man who is known for the insanely infectious catchiness of his tunes as well as his ability to deftly create the soundtrack to many people's lives in multiple musical styles with step number one have an ENA mindset experimental plus adventurous post malone believes that the key to writing catchy music lies in what we have chose to call an ENA mindset meaning experimental and adventurous the first part being experimental is all about understanding that when it comes when it comes to creating classic tracks or writing catchy music or really anything creative, there are no rules. One real life example of this instant open mindedness to creativity came during the creation of one of Post's biggest songs ever, Rockstar. The song, which features 21 Savage, started as a freestyle during a studio session. According to the producer Tank God, the beat was created in 15 minutes and Post Malone quickly started freestyling over it. The result was a chart-topping single that stayed on the Billboard Hot 100 for eight consecutive weeks. An artist of the stature of Post Malone, even at that time, would perhaps not be so experimental as to quickly freestyle to a beat created in such a short period of time, but of course, Posty is different than most, and that's part of the reason why he is where he is. Of course, as Post hinted in the quote, he has done this many times, including with another iconic track of his, Congratulations, which embodied the adventurous portion of the step. In the middle of the writing process, Post and his crew found themselves tuning into the 2016 Summer Olympics, soaking in the atmosphere of victory and triumph. It was during this moment that a spark of inspiration struck. Dre London, Post's manager, suddenly exclaimed, congratulations, and just like that, the infectious chorus for the now iconic song was born. This level of comfort with the spontaneous and free-flowing aspect of the creative process is a must-have for anyone trying to become a Post Malone level of artist and thus building up a system to relax yourself in the creative process as embodied in the next step, make yourself comfortable. Do what's right for you. It's not choosing whether you, you're like, oh, I don't have to do that because I play arenas, I headline festival. Right. It's just like whatever makes you comfortable because at the end of the day, you just got to be comfortable with what you're doing. In a world where artists often face immense pressure to fit into a particular mold or cater to the expectations of the audience, Post's words are a refreshing reminder of the importance of staying true to oneself. According to the chart-topping artist, the key to success lies in finding your own comfort zone and embracing it wholeheartedly. In fact, Post is so comfortable with finding his own way of being creative that he has admitted publicly that this multi-platinum artist has a one-of-a-kind way of writing on a certain golden throne in order to get more shiny medals for his wall. No, nah, literally comes to me because I write all my songs on the can. It relaxes you, oh, right? Oh, very much so. I'd say about 30% of all my albums have been written on the sh I'd say, I'd say 60% of lyrics have been written on this shit. Wow, that certainly makes us wonder what the circle he could be talking about on another of his chart-topping tracks is. Thus, as we see and Post teaches us, when it comes to making music, comfort can mean different things for different people. For some, it might involve experimenting with various genres and styles, while others might find solace in sticking to their roots. Regardless of the path chosen, the underlying principle remains the same. 
prioritize your own artistic vision and don't be swayed by external factors. Now, if you yourself are a rapper or songwriter who has been trying to find out of the box ways to increase your creative output and take your talents to a professional full time level, click the first link in the video description to get our free video course, The Top 20 Songwriting Secrets of Professional Artists, which will give you the absolute best concepts to build off of. But in short, Posty has demonstrated that prioritizing your comfort zone is absolutely crucial in order to learn how to write catchy music and something you should take extremely seriously. Now, in the next step, Post tells us exactly how to put yourself in a position to win with step number three, burn the boats creatively. White Iverson was actually pretty early on, but nobody wanted me to put out White Iverson. They just said, wait, wait. And I said, I don't have time to wait. I don't have any money. I don't have anything. What am I going to lose? You know? And then I made the album art, the original album art with the three and Iverson was in the background and I put it out the next day and then it just went bananas. Post Malone knows a thing or two about taking risks and putting himself in a position to win when it comes to his music. This daring move to burn the boats creatively paid off big time for Post Malone. Not only did White Iverson propel him into the spotlight, but it also laid the foundation for his wildly successful career. The lesson here is clear. Sometimes you have to take matters into your own hands and trust your gut, even when the odds seem stacked against you. Post Malone has consistently demonstrated his willingness to trust his gut by exploring different genres throughout his career. For example, he has incorporated elements of country, rock, and pop into his music, despite being primarily known for getting his start in hip-hop. His album, Hollywood's Bleeding, speaks to his genre-fluid approach, featuring tracks like Take What You Want, a collaboration with Ozzy Osbourne and Travis Scott, which seamlessly blends hip-hop and hard rock. Thus, if you want to create iconic, catchy, and game-changing music, burn your boats creatively and don't look back. But make sure to follow step number four. Don't just make music, share music. They're not my songs, because I make these songs for people to listen to and say no matter like what I'm going through mm. or no matter what's going on, I'm not by myself. And there's mm. other people who feel like that. Anybody who makes music, I think is super brave and anybody willing to express themselves mm. and, and share that little piece of themselves with the whole entire world. It's not almost, okay, judge me now. It's, I want to share this, and how does it make you feel? Does it make you feel sad? Does it make you feel happy? Do you hate it? Do you like it? You know what I mean? Post Malone emphasizes the importance of not just creating music, but also sharing it with the world mentally and emotionally. He believes that an artist's purpose extends beyond simply crafting songs for their own enjoyment. It's about connecting with listeners on a deeper level. Additionally, Post applauds the bravery of artists who are willing to bare their souls and share their emotions with the world. The focus here is not on seeking validation or judgment, but on fostering an emotional connection with the audience. Post Malone encourages artists to consider how their music makes people feel, whether it evokes sadness, happiness, love, or hate. By doing so, you can create a more profound and lasting impact on your listeners. Post Malone's approach to sharing music underscores the essential role that vulnerability and emotional expression play in the creative process. By sharing their innermost thoughts and feelings with the world, artists can not only foster a sense of connection with their audience, but also inspire others to face their own emotions and experiences head on. So remember, when it comes to making music, it's not just about dropping a hot track. It's about sharing them and connecting with others on a deeper level. And once you've done that, make sure to follow it all off with step number five. Don't try to control, just create. There's a certain magic that goes into making a record or, you know, if you're a painter, a painting, or if you're a dancer, a cool dance move. There's something there that, yeah. that just kicks off and you can't control it and you can't no. say when it's going to happen, but it just happens. In one moment in time, everybody is there doing the same thing with the same energy the same good intention. Post Malone's fifth piece of advice for fellow artists is to relinquish control and let the creative process take over naturally. According to Post, this magical moment is not something that can be forced or predicted. It simply happens when the time is right. By emphasizing the importance of letting go and allowing creativity to flow freely, Post Malone encourages artists to trust in the organic nature of the artistic process. 
Instead of trying to control every aspect of their work, they should be open to unexpected moments of inspiration and embrace the spontaneity that often leads to the most groundbreaking and memorable creations. For example, Post Malone and Sway Lee joined forces to create the smash hit Sunflower for the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse soundtrack. Embracing spontaneity and trusting their creative instincts, the duo allowed their artistic process to unfold naturally without overthinking or trying to control every detail. Their organic collaboration led to the creation of a track that has not only skyrocketed to the top of the charts, but also appealed to a wide range of fans across various genres. The infectious melody, the catchy lyrics, and seamless blending of their unique musical styles resulted in a song that transcended boundaries and resonated with listeners on a deeper level. By trusting their creative flow and letting go of any preconceived notions of what this song could be, Post Malone and Sway Lee were able to produce a track that has since become a fan favorite and an integral part of the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse experience. This example from Posty's career highlights the power of embracing spontaneity and allowing creativity to flourish organically, leading to groundbreaking and memorable creations that are always going to be seen as catchy if you follow all of these five steps. Now we want to see you in the comments, what do you believe is Post Malone's catchiest song? I know that's a hard one to choose because there's a lot of them, but what do you believe is his catchiest song? If you're an artist watching this or songwriter, be sure to visit the video description for your free course. I've been your host, the big homie Drew Fratterap. I'm out.